Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber already, thank you. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I appreciate it and I love seeing all your comments. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first visit. I hope you enjoy this video and if you want to subscribe, please do. Um, any comments, I try to answer them or at least acknowledge them as much as I can. So I'm going to be doing a colour and chat in Relax With Art. I've chosen this picture of the child in well on a fair it looks like he's on a fairground round he's got little bits behind him and yeah it's a really nice picture so I thought I'd do this one for the colouring chat so this channel is an over 18s channel um there's a lot of uh, talking that goes on we talk about a load of rubbish basically so let's crack on so it's been a very strange week hasn't it Obviously last week, sadly, on, uh, I think it was Wednesday the 8th, or Thursday the 8th, I'm not sure what day it was now, it's the week's, yeah, just gone into one. It was Thursday, Thursday, I was in the office, I remember now. Uh, the Queen sadly passed away at the age of 96, which is a good age, but of course she's still somebody's mother, grandmother, you know. And she's been a part of our landscape for so long, it's very weird to think that we no longer have a queen, we now have a king, we now have King Charles III. He has announced that Kate and William will be the new uh, Prince and Princess of Wales. And uh, yeah, it was very sad, very sad day. We were actually talking about it in work that day about the queen and what would happen when she passed. And then strange, when we got home at lunchtime it was all over the news that uh, she was ill and the family were on their way and you know then that it's not good and that they that she was probably dying and then uh, they announced at around 6 30 that she had passed away and she did die at around three half three that afternoon but the reason they don't announce it is to wait for the family to get there to give the family a chance to to say goodbye or so that they're all aware unfortunately only really I think Charles Charles was there and potentially Anne made it but the rest of them sadly didn't because they were all mostly down in London which is quite a way because she was up in Scotland at Balmoral Castle and yeah so it's very sad because she has been um I'm just going to check this colour to see if I want it no been a part of our consciousness for a very very long time you know as, as you know as long as I can remember no, this one. you know she's been a, you know 70 years on the throne is a very long time I personally I can remember the uh, silver jubilee back in 77 and I was I was three so I was very young but I do remember it um, I was Little Miss Muffet, we had a fancy dress street party, Richard was a pirate and my brother Christopher was ill at that time, so I remember that very much, I remember Charles and Diana's wedding, obviously Diana's death, the death of the Queen Mother and so on. It's going to be very weird getting used to what it is, calling him King Charles and newscasters are having a hell of a time with it. <laughs> They keep calling Prince and then apologising to King Charles III because we've been calling Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth for 70 years. It takes a lot to to change. It, it, it's, it's like the new year, when you get into the new year, uh, like 2021 to 2022, you always have to think twice before writing the year because you want to put 2021 because you've just spent the last 12 months writing 2021. So imagine what it's like, we've spent the last 70 years saying Her Majesty and the last, I don't know how many years saying His Royal Highness Prince of Wales. So for it to change so suddenly, which it does, it changes immediately, the monarch passes, to it being King Charles is very difficult. It's... I mean, I haven't watched a bit of the coverage that's been going on, um, like, for instance, the, um, the yesterday that when they had the cortege, cortege moving her body from 
uh, Balmoral to Holyrood in Edinburgh. And the next, they'll be moving it to down to, in the next few days, to, to Westminster. There to Lion's Date there. Um, a lot of people expected to go to London for it. I, I obviously won't, I will be staying at home. I had the day booked off as holiday. Our companies, not mine and Paul's, not confirmed whether or not they will be giving us the day off. I can't, I just don't know. I am going to, I'll speak to the manager tomorrow to say, are we closing on Monday? I mean, it may just be that they haven't told us because we are. It might come out this afternoon. I'm not in work till tomorrow, so I'll, I'll have a look tomorrow. If so, I should get my day's holiday back. But it, yeah. And Jennifer will be off as well, so school's definitely closing. <laughs> Nursery's closing, so there's no actual... Uh, next Monday but generally it's down to each individual employer whether they give the day off or not and I, I mean I don't mind because I've booked the day off holiday anyway I'm happy to have it I'm just sad that it ha that uh, under these circumstances that we've gained a holiday because it's not a holiday it's a national day of mourning so it's very it is odd because you don't like to think of the Queen being dead. She doesn't. I don't think Jennifer really understands what dead is. Um, she knows it means not around anymore. She is only four, but she sort of understands it. It, it makes her cry when somebody dies, so we try not to go overboard with it. But she will bring it up. Um, I don't know, very strange. What to do? What do you do with a child? So sweet and sensitive, and she is very sensitive. She probably gets that from me. So. I will, I want to watch the funeral, but I will tr probably um, give her the tablet to watch on and say, look, you watch it on there so mummy can watch this and you enjoy that and make sure we get all the tablets charged up so that if one runs out. So. But it's not going to be for that long. And then she can we'll try and take her out somewhere or something. I don't know, go down the park if it's not raining. Just to get her out in the fresh air. And so I feel, you know, for the family very much. Charles looked devastated. He loved his mum. And uh, to be honest, Princess Anne looked devastated as well. You can see the grief on her face. And they are a family not known for showing too much. But I think this has come as a real blow. But I, I, before we move on to other things, uh, I want to say something that Prince Louis said that made Kate, Catherine, Princess of Wales, cry. He said, at least Granny is with Grandpapa now, meaning she's been reunited with Philip. And if you believe in that, then she has. So that's enough. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about too much more. Um... What have I been up to? I have been watching, still staying on the sort of death theme, a channel called Dead Good Walks. Now, it's a fairly new channel, but this guy goes around churches and cemeteries just showing you around. And it's very interesting because he's been to, like, Highgate. He's done something called Champin, which is when you can rent a or hire a church for an evening and sleep in the church, like camping or glamping, but in a church, so champing. Now, these churches are ones that have fallen under the church conversation, conservation programme, so they're not really used for worship anymore. But in order to stop them falling into disrepair, they have been given to this thing, this charity, and they rent them out. So you, you rent them out per night. There's only about seven or eight so far in the whole of the UK, only one in Wales, which is Anglesey. One near Bristol, um, one in the Midlands called Roxeter. It's a nice village, actually. I like Roxeter. And this guy did it, and it looked absolutely fascinating. Um, they set you up nice camp beds and provide you with a, you know, if there's electric a tea kettle and, and stuff like that, you take your own food. You know, there's usually pubs around, so you can always go and have a meal in the pub, hopefully. Um, but it, it actually looked really interesting. I was, I've never heard of that before. Um, but if you actually Google Champin, it will, if you're in the UK especially, it'll, it'll bring up the website 
and you can go and have a look at it and I think it's such a good idea and that way the, the buildings are preserved even though they're not being used for worship anymore which I think is a great idea and I think most of the people who would want to stay in a church would be very respectful anyway of the uh, building itself I personally love churches I'm not religious I'll admit that I am not religious in a, a, you know <coughs> if I was anything I'd say I'm more pagan but I don't worship anything except for Marilyn obviously but that's not like a god um, I, I but I do love churches especially old churches um, I love photographing them I really love photographing churches. I, I, the architecture is in, in, especially old churches, is stunning. Some new churches are stunning as well, I'm not gonna lie. So I really, really admit that I love churches. And um, if I do go in one and I photograph a church, I always give a donation, put a donation in the donation box, as I think it's only fair. I want these churches to the buildings to be kept up. I want people who, are religious who are who do go to church to worship i want them to have a place to worship i am not against any religion i think all religions are valid and i think that by supporting a church if i visit it and i take photographs of it then i am happy to pay for the privilege and to make a donation of five or ten pounds whatever's free that reminds me of something else i got to do that tomorrow um whatever I've got I'm happy to do that if it will help keep that church up and running and safe for uh, its congregation because when it um, with a lot of churches especially in Wales churches are all about um, this pen back, community and the churches around here are very very much about community and it's all good they are brilliant churches and even though i am not religious i do want them to survive for those who are so one of the things i want to do is go taking photographs of graveyards again i love taking photographs of graveyards churchyards cemeteries blah 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 i love the history for me it is about history and i'm a big history person but I also, you know, I want to visit St Wallace Cathedral, which is Newport Cathedral. Um, I've never been there. It, where it is, is although there is parking by it, it it's going to fill up very quickly. Um, and the rest of the streets are residents permit parking only, which I fully agree with because parking around there is a nightmare generally. So permits, I think, are a good way out of that. But I think that... Um, yeah, I like the idea of visiting St Willis. I said to Paul, when we do do it, we'll make sure it's open so I can go and have a look inside. <clears throat> Maybe take some photographs, make a donation, of course. <clears throat> have a run, run around the... run, walk around the church. I'd try and do it on a day Jennifer's in school, if possible. And take some photographs of the inside, if I can. Because I'm not religious, but I love the iconography. I love the um, monuments both inside and outside of churches and I've photographed many churches in my time um, and cathedrals I, I've done Truro Cathedral and I've done Bristol Cathedral I've done Landaff Cathedral which is Cardiff's Cathedral there are oops my, something's falling over I do apologise I just have to oh yeah it's my photo lamp over eBay I'll be doing that tomorrow but yeah, I do, I do love a good church for a walk around and the peacefulness. They are very peaceful. Um, I have photographed an abandoned and derelict church in the past. It's now been sealed up tight as a, as possible. You can't get in it now. I was lucky enough to get into it before they sealed it up. So I'm very happy about Very lucky to do that, I believe. So... But yeah, so that was Dead Good Walks and Champin. Um, what else have we been watching? Watching lots of colouring videos, of course. Watching all the hauls, which make me order things, which I'm trying not to. 
So I said I was on, not on a no buy, but on a low buy. And I've so far got five new colouring books this month. And a, a set of pencils. I can't see me, I'm going to try not to buy much more. I mean, I haven't got a guarantee it. But I probably won't do a haul until the end of October and then the end of December. That's what I'm going to try and do it every other month, I think. There are so many books I want though. My wish list, I, I use my wish list mostly at Christmas and New Year. My wish list is absolutely full of colouring books. There are other things on there. There's um, pens, pencils, pan pastels because I, I use this at Christmas. My brother gets me stuff off of this list at Christmas. So I put all sorts on there, but there are a lot of colouring books. When I see a colour book I want, I put it on my wish list and then if I haven't got the money and then when I've got some money, I usually go and buy a couple off my wish list. So, yeah, if I remember, I'll put a link to my wish list. I'll put it in, in the description below. But I'm not one of those people who expect people to buy me things or want necessarily to ask people to buy me things. I know I've done it wrong. I didn't do my orange second, which I should have. <laughs> I'm not with it today, I tell you. It's been a weird day. I'll do it now. But yeah, Jennifer's alright. So far she's enjoying school. She hasn't had a full day in yet. Today is her first full day in. So last week she we went in for a 10 minute meeting. Then she was in till 20 past 11. Then she was in till 1pm. And then she was in till half past 1. And now this week she's in every day until 10 past 3. So this is her first full day. So I fully expect her to be exhausted when I pick her up. Which is fine. I don't mind that and uh, we'll see how it goes try and take her down to granddad's tomorrow i was going to go today but i i'm i'm absolutely shattered myself i had strange dreams last night um yeah so not bad they weren't scary or horrible but um still weird and odd ones so so i'm gonna try and bring jen home and we'll try and do some maybe do some coloring or something i don't know and would you be interested at the when I do my completed pages to show you some of Jennifer's? Um, she's only four, but she is getting better. Used to be she used to colour every single item in blue, <laughs> and she wouldn't use any other colours. It was just like one colour. Now she loves all the colours, and she wants um, to use them all. So. I, I let her use some of my pencils, I let her use some of my markers sometimes. She's got her own pencils and her own markers, but uh, she does want to be like mummy, but I have to watch her very carefully when she's using my markers, because obviously mine are alcohol-based. Uh, and sometimes we colour in using the twistables. We like the twistables. And uh, she's got a fair few colouring books, and she'll get more at Christmas. I'll get her some more. When she can read, she can have colour by numbers. She wants colour by numbers already, but she can't read the words. She can only see the, the numbers. She knows what the numbers are. She's very good at the numbers, I must admit. She can count up to 40 now. And she does know her alphabet. She can say it and she recognises most of the letters. So we are getting there. My phone's just made a funny noise. I'm just going to have a quick look and see what it is. Uh, Dolman Theatre. Nope, nothing interesting. It's fine. So, yeah. So for Jennifer's probably going to be tired. So I might just um, take some pencils down and, and do some colouring with her. But, yeah, I, I know it's strange. Oh, I should have put a bit more of that blue there, I think. I'll do that in a minute. I'll find it was 70. What number was it? 76? I have a look to see which one it was. I know, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that one. Nope. No. Oh, no, it was. Oh, 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 it was. Oh,
know, I, it was um, baby blue out of here, wasn't it? Sometimes I get really confused, so. Let's see, we always want to put a bit here. <laughs> I am not the brightest spark some days, I must admit. These pictures are so busy in Relax With Art and I think that's why I've got so many and I don't do them because I look at them and think, oh, it's just so busy. What's all this at the bottom? I mean, what's all this? What's that for? So, you know. And I know this is a plane and it'd be multicoloured because it's a child's, you know, ride. I mean, there's a... The cloud there, and then there's a bit there, and I don't know what that is. I think it's just another cloud, actually, but there you go. Put this down here. Is... So, this is going to take a long time. This is going to be a two-parter, because there's a lot on it, I think. But I do like the Relax With Art books. The new one's quite good, and the... the um, the Halloween special, Spellbound, oh, I, I, sorry, absolutely think it's fantastic. I, I can't wait to colour, I want to colour in it all the time. I'll be putting a flip through of that up if I haven't already, very soon. It might be up by now when you see this video, I'm not sure. It depends what I put up after I film, finish filming. I've got my weekly vlog, that'll be definitely going up today. And this will either be get this will be going up either today or tomorrow. We probably got today actually. I can have a day when I have three up. I mean, I don't know. funny, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, to go for months without putting or months with only putting one or two videos up every now and again to put in something on pretty much every day and sometimes like three in a day. So, but you know. I enjoy doing it, and you, you don't have to watch it all. You can watch what bits you want. <laughs> so Zed's okay. Um, we took her to the vet last week, um, and the vet tech seems to think she might be a bit stressed out, which is why she goes for Jennifer. Because it is only Jennifer she goes for, because Jennifer runs around fast, she's got a high-pitched voice, and of course cats don't like that. Um, so she suggested this thing called Pet Remedy which is supposed to soothe animals. Now it soothes a lot of animals, not just cats. And she has chilled out a fair bit. But we're wondering if the cat-based one might work better. Because there's one that's specifically for cats. Stick it full of catnip and stone them out, I say. Yeah. So I'm only going to go do this till 30 minutes um, today, which is another seven minutes, because We'll do another one using this book another day, later in the week, probably Wednesday, It'll be up Thursday. Um, but, yeah, I'll do this one. Yeah, no, not that one. I'm just checking now for my blue. We'll use that one. Um, yeah. Just because Ed's okay, she's doing all right. She's uh, she wants to be with me most of the time, but of course Jennifer wants to be with me, so I think she gets a little bit jealous as well because obviously Jennifer has to come first with me because she's my child and she needs me. So I think Zed gets jealous of Jennifer to be honest. So it's just a matter of making sure the cat's happy. So I'm trying to fuss her as much as I can when I can. Even when Jennifer's there, I fuss her. Um, she wants to sleep on the bed, but that ain't happening because she knocks everything off the side and it annoys me. Bless her. She's a sweet cat, mine, don't get me wrong. She loves a good cuddle. So I'm sitting on you. Can't have her attacking Jen, that's the only thing. So mind you saying that, she was going for my ankles this morning, she was having a, she wanted to play with them. I was like, no Zed. Well, 
So when Jennifer gets home, she'll be all over that cat. Be oh my beautiful little cat. It's quite cute. So there's not much news really. I'm sure lots of things are happening in the world. Obviously it was the 9-11 anniversary on the 11th, which was yesterday for me. Um, which is obviously a very sad day. I remember that day very, very well. I was at uh, work when the news came through and I was just going to lunch and it was horrific. It was a horrific um, thing. A horrific um, day in history and it's haunted me ever since. And I think it will haunt me for the rest of my life because of what happened there. Very sad, but, you know. And I can remember somebody saying to me, after it happened, I bet you wouldn't go to America now. And I said to them, if I could get a plane and I had the money, I'd be gone today to New York to help out. They would said, you wouldn't. I said, I would. Because if you, if you don't, they've won. And when, we can't let them win. Whoever did it, we can't let them win. I know there's all the conspiracy theories. And I, the only conspiracy theory I actually get involved in is one uh, surrounding Marilyn, because that's a subject I know a lot about. And I keep learning more, and I'm constantly learning, I'm, I'm constantly picking stuff up and trying to learn more about her. I, I've got a lot of friends who are authors who have written books about her who know even more than I, and if I need some help, I'll ask them a question, such as Michelle Morgan or Gary Vitico Rubles, Mary Jane Gray is another one, um, April Chambers. There are so many uh, experts out there that I could quite happily state things and say, look, this has been researched by such and such, this is this person, why don't you check it out, you know. But that's the only conspiracy theory I get involved in because I am, um, I've got a lot of books on the subject, over 300. I, I don't, I've actually lost count, I don't know how many books there are now, and I got Factual books, biographies, uh, books about the conspiracy theories, photo books, fictional books, plays, poetry books, film tie-ins. It's the one thing I do have a lot of and if you have a look at some of my, on my Marilyn Monroe playlist there is a, a Marilyn bookshelf tour. It is woefully out of date because I've got a lot more books since that one was take that one was filmed um we'll update it at some point but i got so many other videos to do i want to do my hollywood film collection book um bookshelf tour that's a, another big bookcase not completely filled with books but it has got a lot of books on it So, anyway, I'm going to stop in a minute because we're nearly at 30 minutes. The camera will tick off. I've got a few other things to do before I have to go and get Jennifer. So I'm very, very tired as well. So I'm just going to do that middle bit purple. And I'm just going to make a note on the back of this page that it's... Oh, who, who, 73 and 174 for the purples because they'll go back in and I'll be using them on something else in no time at all. Um, let me just show you what we've done today. I won't be a sec. I'm going to zoom out. So, so far we haven't done very much. We've done the sky, the little face and hands, the repellers and the rainbow. I may do a longer one later on but I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very quick colouring chat and I'll see you in the next.